Time now for our next edition of our look at famous alumni here at BCC with alumni in your community. My name is Michaela Gagney and I'm a graduate of BCC class of 2008. I'm from Fall River, Mass, and I've grown up here, lived here my whole life. And I grew up uh, extremely interested in art and in sports. So I went through high school, really dedicated to my art classes, and a three-season athlete in high school. And I always wanted to, actually for a long time, I wanted to be a Disney artist. <laughs> that was a big piece. And then I recognized I wanted to work with kids, and I wasn't exactly sure how. I had all these interests. And it was uh, later in college that I put it all together. I wanted to be an art therapist. My senior year of high school, here I was, I wanted to go Division One soccer, and I actually got diagnosed with a life-threatening heart condition. And it's one of these conditions you hear about athletes dropping dead from suddenly, unknown, underlying. So I was lucky, I was lucky they found it, but of of course, I was, I was shattered because my dreams were taken away from me. I couldn't play sports again. Um, so I actually had uh, a surgery to have a defibrillator put in uh, that keeps me safe now. But in the meantime, I took up pageants as sort of a, I don't know, a way to fill the void, I guess, left by sports. It started as a joke. My guidance counselor said, why don't you run for Miss Fallover? And I said, you got to be kidding me. I mean, I hadn't even brushed my hair that day. <laughs> and I was <laughs> not what you would call a beauty queen. But I took it as a dare, and I entered my first pageant and I walked like a jock. <laughs> I was <laughs> there was no grace, no poise. But actually I really loved it because I was given time to speak to the judges or about my platform issue, which was lethal heart conditions like my own, and how I was gonna do something about it. So pageant got in my blood and I ended up uh, sticking with it and I kept competing. In 2006, I became Miss Massachusetts and started becoming a national spokesperson for the American Heart Association, Parent Heart Watch, and several other cardiac organizations. I pursued my education at the University of Massachusetts at Amherst, where I was an art major and a psychology minor. A wonderful time, I had a great time. I, was, uh, I concentrated in graphic design, digital imaging, and photography. And at that time, I learned about art therapy, which was a great way to combine my interests of working with people, helping people, and art. So I went to get my master's degree at Lesley University, and I uh, graduated from there in 2006 with a mental health counseling and art therapy degree. Art therapy is a really fascinating field because it basically goes on the concept that when you're in the counseling uh, realm with a person, sometimes they can't communicate verbally to you. Sometimes they don't want to communicate verbally. And there's all these studies done, uh, for instance, with trauma and how our brain actually stores it photogra photographically so that when we say that there's no words for it, there truly are no words. But art can be that bridge between helping a person release between helping a counselor understand their patient and um, it, it's just a really holistic great way to be able to work with someone. Art therapy is used across the populations. Um, it's commonly thought to be used with only children, but it, that could be furthest from the truth. It's really effective across the realm of ages and um, different diagnoses. And it can be used, you know, any counselor or therapist could have a background in art therapy because you're also given a solid background in the counseling, um, in the clinical aspect of everything. You just use art as one of your tools to work with your client. One of my prizes for becoming Miss Massachusetts was that I received a one year, uh, one year of free tuition to Bristol Community College, which was really exciting. I mean, at this point I had my master's degree, but I love to learn, and I'd heard wonderful things about BCC, so I was really excited at what I could jump into. Uh, in addition, my aunt teaches there, and she's always spoken wonders about it. So I kind of, my the first semester I was there, I, I took three different classes, tried out a few different things, and one of them happened to be one of the thanatology classes and you know probably a couple of classes and I got hooked and I said well I'm, I'm gonna do this certificate no matter what and I ended up finishing and, uh, and finishing up the uh, certificate. I really loved my professors at BCC I thought they were it was nice to be in an environment where it was small I got a lot of attention um, and I'll, it was a lot of hands-on stuff I really enjoyed that I enjoyed my classmates we had a great time in the, in the night school <laughs> and um, overall it was just it felt like home. I work at St. Vincent's Home in Fall River, and it's a residential and educational facility for children in need. Most of our kids have uh, a multitude of behavioral, cognitive, and emotional issues, as well as different educational issues. So I have the fun job. I'm the art teacher, and um, it's a great experience, and it's really useful to have an art therapy background to make art on a more meaningful level with these kids. 
I started six years ago, and at first I was in direct care with the kids, so I think I understood, uh, was able to understand them a lot. So when I moved into the role of teacher, it really helped with uh, being able to incorporate ideas that I thought uh, were just really meaningful. I'm not, I don't cut and paste and glue with the kids. It's, it's much deeper, um, whether it be a mosaic, which really, um, the project behind me is actually, they picked a positive word and then they used the mosaic tiles to illustrate it. Uh, so it was a really fun project, but it's just uh, being aware of what the kids' limits are um, and giving them the freedom to just create rather than give them a, a grade for how good their art was. I, I don't believe in grades for skill, I believe in grades for participation participation and effort. When I, when I see a kid really engage in art and get it and understand it and dive into it, there is no greater feeling. There really isn't. And sometimes that might not be with painting or drawing, but sometimes that might be when we're in the graphic design room and playing around with different computer images. And there, I mean, there's no greater feeling because then you feel like you gave a kid this gift, this outlet where they can escape from a lot of the problems they have in their life and just be a kid and just have fun and just express themselves.